Galactic Federation of Light Update, August 16, 2016. 6 Khan, 1 Wuo, 13 Kaban. Drazo. Amazing events are on the near horizon. Those individuals who are diligently making possible your new reality are winding up the final details needed for success. These actions are to authorize an extended series of funds to be formally transferred. We are waiting for these transfers to be approved and formally accounted for. The dark is in the throes of being defeated. The next exchanges are to put a nail in the coffin of those who so arrogantly ruled over you. These defeated ones are presently being closely watched. Once the first funds are exchanged, the dark is to be fully isolated from each of you. Over the last few decades, these horrid ones nearly stole your souls. Heaven intervened and we are here as instruments of change. Many incredible people working under the auspices of the Ascended Masters have been secretly working to end this threat to surface humanity. Consequently, you are on the cusp of a new, free and prosperous era. The rise of Nasara and new governance is just one sign of this wondrous time. When we first came to this solar system about two and one half decades ago, you were in the midst of the final manipulations by the Anunnaki. The Dark Antara Continuum was preparing a scheme to bypass the agreements proposed by Heaven after the fall of Atlantis. The Dark has done everything to misrepresent what the Atlanteans were really up to. Surface humanity had become a vile experiment to create a sub-race that was to be fully at their command. This nonsense was ended by the sudden, ill-chosen attack upon the exiled offspring of the rulers who were sent to a land near present-day Greece. The resulting counterattack sank Atlantis and left your distant ancestors vulnerable to rapid extinction. The Anunnaki saw this as a chance to finish the Atlanteans' brutish experiments. Over the next 3,000 plus years, your ancestors survived, helped surreptitiously by the Agarthans and by us. This aid led eventually to the various orders of the Ascended Masters and to a plan to return you to your former fully conscious state. This special heavenly plan proceeded in stages that took nearly 4,000 years to complete. The first stage was the ingesting ceremonies, done secretly using various types of monatomic gold, silver, and platinum. These special events helped the thoughts of selected humans to move ever closer to a complete return to full consciousness. It is these special professional ones who formed the core of the Master's sacred secret societies. Their tasks were to use their mental and consciousness growth to discover ways to move this reality slowly and steadily toward the light. It was our arrival two decades and a half ago that really accelerated what they are now doing. You are being prepared by Heaven's Holy Light for new perceptions required to accept our presence among you. Initially, the Anunnaki made it very difficult for us by planting in you a deep xenophobia. It forces us to proceed more slowly than we would like. Nevertheless, we are able now to gain your trust as your perceptions about this universe quickly alter. We are both on the verge of a great mutual acceptance. We are most grateful to Heaven and to the Agarthans. Heaven provided us with the mission and the Agarthans provided us with a home. Numerous researchers have discovered the concept of an electric holographic universe. This is basically what our scientists have long believed in. When we land, we are going to show this truth and alter your concept about how the table of elements operates. This knowledge verifies ancient alchemy and allows you to easily transmute the elements and delve into some simple atomic energy magic. This science of the soul can move objects, regardless of weight, and perform a whole host of feats you now call impossible. This wisdom is part of the greater knowledge of being a fully conscious being of light. Our mentors are to teach you some of this. The rest requires a sense of one to properly use these newly acquired abilities. When we arrive, your time of learning about these great responsibilities will begin. It is also a time of freedom and prosperity. These events are to start shortly, once the first funds are actually delivered. Namaste. We are your Ascended Masters. As you can see, events on the horizon are going to change the nature of this reality forever. We bless these changes, 
knowing that these transformations are a part of a wondrous plan first put forth by heaven eons ago. Heaven knew that a particular interval was required to arrange a series of events that would give the galactic dark time to evoke its long-intended special declaration. It is this declaration that is to permit you to move into your final stages of reformation. You are presently entering into these final stages. The beginning of this is to be marked by wealth, wisdom, and conscious growth. It is this growth that is to set the stage for new governance and the acceptance of extraplanetary visitors. It is this amazing set of circumstances that will signal to us that your period of isolation is over. At that point, you can start your new lives, a time for a return to this special galaxy. We masters see when we can openly reacquaint each of you with us. Many special lessons need to be presented to you. Long ago, you were thrust into an amnesia that made you forget who you are and why you are here. We fully intend to present to you a vast body of information to allow you to fully understand these questions and use this wisdom as a prelude to what your galactic mentors are to give you. As you grow in consciousness, you also require more knowledge about how you got here. These lessons of ours are to be your first insight into this long untouched area. You have been given a great deal of often contradictory information about your distant past. This confusion requires a full disclosure to end your confusion and enable you to broaden your knowledge of these ancient times. You can then easily see how you progressed from Atlantis to the present day. All of this data is there for you to continue to question your mentor on these subjects and what happened to you along the way. You need to notice the breadth of your focus, and it is equally vital for you to strengthen your vision and see just how important this is to your process of transformation. The powers taken from you are still there. It is time to draw upon them and join collectively to harness these abilities and learn how to strengthen them in a most positive manner. Immediately ahead of you is a time to take this in, using your powerful quiet moments to amalgamate all of it. Much is going to take place simultaneously once prosperity actually begins. Hence, it is vital that you use these special times to fully absorb what is unfolding all around you. Ever keep in mind that much is to be expected of you once this time begins its first accelerations. Today, we continued our weekly reports. This moment is special, as it marks the time for a number of important accelerations we mentioned to begin. Be prepared and fully ready to accept a whole host of wondrous events. Know, dear ones, that the countless supply and never-ending prosperity of heaven are indeed yours. So be it. Selamat Gajan. Selamat Ya, Syrian for B1. And be in joy. Channeled by Sheldon Nidal. www.paoweb.com